Final plans to develop the Kankasanture port, which is currently inoperational through an Indian loan, have been drawn up against the backdrop where the Palali airport is currently under development based on an agreement reached with India. In July 2019, the government of Sri Lanka completed the first phase of development work worth 226 million rupees and India agreed to provide 3 billion rupees to complete the second phase of the Palali airport. It is against this backdrop that the east container terminal of the Colombo port is being prepared to be handed over to the Indian Adani group. The investment is already being studied by two committees. <laughs> A cabinet paper has been tabled in this regard and it does not state in this paper to give this terminal to the Adani group. It only states to provide a report to bring an investor to this project and the committees are appointed for this purpose. We are waiting for this committee report and we don't think that they will make any decision prior to this report. Our message to the country is clear. We will not let anyone take this away from us and we will do our best to ensure it doesn't happen. <laughs> Four hundred meters of the East Jetty has already been constructed by the Ports Authority. It will be the one and only terminal in the world with two jetties in 15 and 18 meter lengths. By this, we can save a large sum of money. Many containers that are imported to the port are re-exported to India. We need to decide whether we are going to collaborate with India and gain more benefit from this. The experts in this area will examine the situation before making the decision and we will inform the final decision to the public once it is made. We are in a fierce struggle with the government against handing over the East Terminal to India. We had a lengthy discussion with the president and informed him not to do it. This is a national treasure and we should keep it for our future generations. During the tenure of Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, a memorandum of understanding was reached in this regard and this went beyond an agreement. The agreement was to create two companies between Sri Lanka and India and to allow Sri Lanka to hold the ownership of the land. This was explained to us by the president. If this government implements this because it has been agreed before, we will stand against it. It cannot be justified by any means. We are ready to gather people to fight against it.